hello guys welcome to my channel and in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to achieve a balanced sleeve exaggerated sleeve or a puffy sleeve so you can see i've gone ahead to cut out this piece and i'm making use of this african print and for the wideness or the width of this piece which is the part i'm measuring i have 58 inches and for the length i have 13 inches so i want you to take note that the wider the this piece the fuller your 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 sleeve will be i hope you understand so if i go ahead to increase this piece by 70 inches that is the width i'm actually going to have a fuller a more fuller sleeve i hope you understand so i just folded this into two i'm just trying to get the center and i went ahead to notch so the reason for this is because by the time i gather i wouldn't want the gather effect to be more pronounced at one side of the sleeve and the other side will be scanty i hope you understand so i prefer going in with my hand needle and trade which i already have here and i've gone ahead now to make a very 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 loose stitch all across to this part you can actually make it a sewing machine by using your gather stitch on this but for me i prefer using my hand needle and my trade i kind of find this more easier for me so you can see how loose the stitches are so after that now it's time to pull this and i'm just going to pull and once i get to the middle point which is that part which i notched i'm just going to stop right there just where my hand is that's the part i notched so like i said earlier on the reason for the notching is so you can achieve the same um gathers effect at both sides so one side doesn't have more pronounced gathers than the other part i hope you understand what i mean so i just pulled this and when i got to the middle part of that piece i went ahead to also pull from the other end so you can see it's equal here and i have the same gathers effect at both sides so now having done this now i'm just going to attach this to this dress which i've already gone ahead to join and do everything aside joining the sleeve so i'm just going to turn it over to the right side and i'm going to get the shoulder part of this my dress and it's actually a mono strap dress actually so i'll go ahead and get the shoulder and i'll get at my piece the part which i notched i'm going to place it exactly on the shoulder that's the center of the shoulder of this my dress the part where i joined the front and the back bodies that shoulder part just like this and i'll go ahead to pin this down so the next thing i'm going to do is to get the end of this piece and i'm just going to join it together with the end of my armhole and the reason for this is because of this is actually going to be an exaggerated sleeve it doesn't really need any accurate um measurement for this yours can be fuller than this so you just do it like this so that the other remaining fabric will just be gathered around this um, whole area i hope you understand what i mean so i'll go ahead and do that but i'm going to make sure that this part doesn't exceed the other side of this piece because i want them to be equal at both sides please hope you understand what i mean so i'll go ahead and pin this all the way around with my pins and i'm just going to pin like this so that my sewing machine can actually stitch on the pins without breaking so i've gone ahead to pin all of that but i'm yet to stitch it and you can see how nicely it's looking already but if you actually want yours fuller you can as well go ahead and add more inches to the width of your piece so here now is the band which i'm going to put at the sleeve and my round sleeve i'm not i'm not making use of an elastic this is totally up to you so the next thing i'll do now is go to go ahead as well to bring this together get the midpoint i will go ahead and notch to also achieve the same thing i achieved for the upper part of this my sleeve so using my hand needle on my trade so i'm just going to make extremely loose stitches on this that will enable me pull this 
to get my gather effect. So if you watch carefully the way I'm doing this, you will know that this stitch is extremely loose. Yes, you notice this, right? So I'll do this and once I'm done, I'll go ahead to pull this and you can see. So after this, now I'm going to get down my band. I'll get the midpoint of this band. I'm just going to place the midpoint of this my sleeve exactly on the midpoint of this my band. And I'll go ahead now to pin it down. I'll just pin this down and after that I'm just going to force in the half inch I'm just going to put in half inch into this band I've already gone ahead to iron and all that so I'm just going to carefully put all this inside and use my pins to hold it down So I'll do this for all the both sides and I'll go to my sewing machine and I'm just going to run a stretch across. And so this is it and you can see how neat and nice it's already looking. So the next thing I want to go ahead to do now is to stitch this part which is open. So I'm going to turn it to the wrong side and I'm going to bring these two pieces together like this and I'm just going to go ahead to run a stitch all the way around down to the point where my armhole started so once I'm done with this you actually see the outcome of this so here is the outcome so you can see that it's already puffy so like i said earlier if you want yours to be bigger you can go ahead as well to extend the width of your piece so this dress is actually not mine i would have worn it and to show you the effect of this balloon sleeve which i just made but it's not mine so it's not going to fit but i just tried as much as possible to show you what it looks like so this is the end of this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like and share see you on the same channel bye